previously on Hidden Long Vlogs. Y'all, I'm about to get on the Patron Blender Bright. <laughs> so I sit here and I pedal there and the blender will sit there and I get to blend up my own drink. <laughs> this fool is crazy. Hey everybody, it's Hen. And Lon, and today from the title of the video, you can already tell that we are giving you an entire wedding weekend recap. I got my wine here because this is going to be such a long video. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. <laughs> so we're going to give y'all a scoop. We're going to tell y'all all the emotions that we had to endure in order to even make it. I know. And even then make it to the destination. And then we're going to take you step by step, day by day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and let you guys know all the craziness that went on. Because that weekend was crazy. Gonna, some people may be exposed. <laughs> some people. <laughs> We're going to try to leave people names out so that, you know, they're not exposed. <laughs> but one of the key things, guys, is you got to subscribe. So yeah. we need everybody to subscribe. Stop what you're doing right now. Pause the video. Subscribe. Because we're trying to move on up, baby. Absolutely. So we're going to go get right ahead and get into the video because... This is, like I said, it's going to be a long one. So if you don't have a snack or something to drink already, we're going to give y'all a little commercial break so you can go grab that snack. Check it. When we first started even planning to go to VR, me and Long went to go see the venue. We were so excited. Took pictures, videos, mm -hmm. showing friends and family. So we were really pumped. No, we were very pumped. Very pumped about very going pumped. to um, Punta Cana, Hot Rock, Cancun. So mind you guys, we for a whole year we were more than a year actually. It's like a year and like four months. Year and four months. We basically planned an entire wedding, was ready to go, and then of course everybody knows the devil thought that he was going, you know, shut things down. So I, I believe we didn't even we weren't even aware of the weather or yeah. anything. Because we were just on cloud nine. And like a week prior to when we had to leave. My father called me, and we were talking, and we was in the car driving or whatever, and he basically was like, um, y'all not worried about the hurricane? And we was like, what? We looked at each other like, but then we wasn't really worried, because we didn't really hear anything. It wasn't really a big deal. Right. So from then, things started to change, and I'll let Long oh get into a little bit what that Yo, like. So it seems like after that call with Henry's dad, I went into panic mode. I was checking, I don't know what website it is, but like the official hurricane website, I was checking that like every hour. They did like three updates in a day. I was checking every single update to see if Hurricane Irma was strengthening or if it was weakening. And just trying to figure out when um, when the hurricane was going to hit Punta Cana and the surrounding areas. So mind you, it started out at like a 1, one yeah, like a so one. Like Okay. Right. Who cares? Right. It seemed like not even day after day, but like every six hours. It was just getting stronger. It was going stronger. from one, 1.5 to two. And then it all, it got the five. It got the five. And I think, I can't remember, but I think Hurricane Irma strengthened to like a category five or six. I think that the highest a hurricane can go was five. And they were saying that it was like off the scale. So it was like you guys saw on the news, the hurricane was nothing like they have ever seen before. It strengthened faster than any other hurricane. They said it was going to be um, worse than Hurricane Katrina. So that was just very nerve-wracking in itself. We're talking about literally the weekend before our wedding. We were supposed to leave on what, the 7th? The 7th. We were supposed to leave on the 7th, which was a Thursday. So the weekend prior is when, you know, everything started to get worse. Mon by what, Sunday? Was it Sunday? I can't remember. But, like, by Sunday... Like, the, the hurricane had just strengthened to be so hard. So then, what, Monday? Here's the funny thing, though. So the hurricane strengthened to about a five before we left. Our travel agent was um, was suggesting that we go a day earlier to get ahead of the, the hurricane. We were supposed to leave on Thursday. So she was just suggesting, leave on Wednesday. You can get ahead of the hurricane peep out the scene, and go from there. So I believe it was Sunday, Monday. We're at work. Lon's texting me all day long, like, coming up with different ideas, trying to figure out what the heck to do. Yeah. And it was that Tuesday. That Tuesday, I remember, because I, um, I was at a business meeting, and 
Lon is calling me. Henry, if you got the meeting, we got to figure this out because they canceled our flight. So it didn't get real until Tuesday because they canceled our flight, which we were supposed to leave on Thursday, which was September 7th. So she's calling me. She's like, Henry, what are we going to do? But she's still calm. Like for a wedding, you know, I would expect her to be out of control, but she was still very calm. Um, they canceled the flight. So we was like, what are the options? So the options were either we leave on Wednesday, get down there early. Mm -hmm. to kind of and the way the that situation. we were able to leave, sorry to cut you off, the way that we went, because you just said that the flight got canceled. The flight got canceled with Southwest. We were flying with Southwest, but American Airlines, all other major airlines were still flying out. So um, what he means that we could, we could leave on Wednesday, we could leave on Wednesday with American Airlines. So... We, that was one option. The next right. option was to leave later and kind of leave with, with a group on Friday right. and assess the situation then. But right. the only problem with that option was like, well, what if they cancel those flights on Friday? Exactly. Now we really SOL. Exactly. And then the last option, which wasn't even an option for us, was to what? change the location. Oh, no, I was thinking cancel that all together. Oh, yeah, cancel, I, can, I cancel it all together. Yes. At that point, the hurricane had got so strong every single day, I was getting pissed off. You plan a wedding a, a whole year and then some change in advance, and everything just start going left. I, I, didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about changing the location. So what we wound up deciding to do, and it was really because we were our back was up against the wall, because our honeymoon was supposed to be in Cancun, so we really didn't want to transition a wedding to Cancun because we were already going to be there for like a week and a half. Exactly. So it was like, dang, that sucks. But our travel agent he came through in the clutch and was like, look, guys, I could potentially move everybody over to Hot Rock Cancun. And we was like, do we want to do that? At that point, we didn't have a choice. It was yeah. either we have it at the church at home, and or we have it the way we wanted to have it as a destination wedding. So we made the call, and we were able to get – Almost everybody moved to the new location. Now, you have to imagine everything that's going through our head. Moving almost, how many people? 45 people's flights, resorts, transfers to another country in, what, like 24 to 48 hours. Sending out confirmation emails to make sure that people knew when they were leaving and everything like that. Anything that you thought could go wrong really went wrong between Monday and Tuesday. And so we had to really keep it calm, not just for us, but, but for, for our, our, guests. our guests and our family. Mm -hmm. Because you got to imagine, everybody is asking us, exactly. Hitting what us is up. going on? Exactly. What, like, what, what are we going to do? Are, us. Are we gonna, you got some people saying, well, I think I'm going to cancel exactly. because it's not. The only good thing is, a lot of people didn't get insurance. Right. <laughs> so whether they want to cancel or not, they had to run with the... Exactly. With, with I us. think only like two couples had insurance, so um, we really had no option but to continue with this. So we really had no option but to just press forward with this wedding. So we finally got to Hard Rock Cancun on Wednesday, a little bit earlier than expected, but that was okay because we had to immediately meet with the wedding coordinator and the wedding team as soon as we got there. Um, it was literally two days of planning something that we had been planning for over a year. So you can imagine just how nerve wracking that was. But the Hard Rock Cancun wedding team was amazing. Like I cannot explain how accommodating they were and how um, empathetic they were to our situation. So I really did appreciate that when we just had so much going on. So, I mean, at that point, I was just ready to, I didn't care. I just like, look, what, what, what do we want? What right. do we need? Right. Let's just make it happen so that we can get this wedding on and popping. So, yeah. we're there. We're taking pictures. The, we the weather is beautiful. The and we'll, is beautiful. We'll actually um, show some pictures right here when we first got to uh, Cancun and what that looked like. Yeah, and the weather is crazy because the weather um, prediction showed that it was going to be thundering and storming all week long. And, of course, people were texting us about that. And I just couldn't believe, if you guys have ever traveled to the Caribbean, it can say that it's raining and you get there and it's bright, sunny. I mean, the entire weekend, I think it rained or drizzled one time. So we were just so happy that the weather was perfect because, I mean, the wedding was for us, but we really just wanted our guests to have an amazing time. But there was one more situation what? that happened. 
prior to everybody getting there. I don't remember. <laughs> um, it was one night, um, and we, me and Lon were knocked out. Oh, it was Thursday night. I don't know if you Thursday night. That. We were knocked out, and literally, you feel something going, boom, boom, boom. Mind you, we're boom, laying in bed. Boom. It's like 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, boom, boom. <laughs> we rocking and back so, and forth. And so, I wake up, and I'm you just like, wake. I did. I woke up, and then I was just like, I went back to sleep, right? So then, Lon, like, Henry, 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 she was like, why are we shaking like this? Yeah, I woke up, and I was just literally, like. Literally, the building was boom. <laughs> I thought, I thought, know. I thought, I didn't know what I thought. I was, I was so knocked out that I thought that it was, the room was, I knew it was shaking. I thought, I was like, Lon, why stop shaking the bed, right? But we didn't know. We didn't put two and two together. Right. Until, until the next, the next morning, morning. People was like, did you feel the earthquake? And we were like, what? He was like, people oh, said, did you feel the earthquake? earthquake? And we, and we didn't, again, we didn't put two and two together until the morning, and it was like, don't feel earth, earthquakes right. all the time. You we know? Was, exactly. So we went, I didn't know what it was, honestly. So it was like earthquake shakes Mexico. But then, all I know is I look at my phone, I got like seven messages. Hey, are y'all okay in Mexico? We heard it just got an earthquake. We're like, what y'all talking about? We uh, So it really was on the opposite side of the country, but it was just so strong that we still felt it in, Me in Cancun. That was crazy. That was wild. And so, we sit up here lying to people, people texting us. Because we didn't want to scare nobody. Exactly. Because you got to understand, we were all, people were already stressing us exactly. out on and top we of the stress out. that we had to. Exactly. Still, we were still figuring things out exactly. when people got there. Exactly. So Friday comes and our guests start to arrive. Um, the Heart Rock Cancun team actually set up a private check-in for, um, for us. So we'll show you some videos and pictures of that. It was amazing. They had signs inside and signs outside that said, what did it say? I think it said Hunt Wedding or Henry Hunt and Shalonda Wedding. So our guests were arriving and we had hors d'oeuvres in the private check-in. We had a full open bar. So people were getting lit and they were getting, they were able to check in and eat at every, it was literally a party in the lobby. We about to take a shot, you know. We lit. Hey. It's lit. Hey. Hey. It's lit. Cashier, you got a shot? No, I got a Somebody pour Cashier out. Somebody pour that out. Like in the private check in, it was a party. I know wherever I'm at, it's always going to be a party. Yeah, so that was just so, so crazy. He was greeting them with shots. I exactly. had the camera yep. around my neck, taking pictures yep. as soon as they pulled up. Yep. And it was exciting to see people start coming in. And exactly. Really. So fast forward, we get, we, we, everybody's here. Everybody goes to um, get change after our meet and greet that we have at the bottom of the hotel. And then Friday evening, we had an all-white welcome party planned for she's all of our guests. She's all my thunder. Like, she just stealing all my thunder. But she's my wife, so I'll let you do that. Um, so the white party, this is my vision, y'all. This is my vision. Rooftop, waves crashing, ocean view, all of your friends and family just there, and we lit and we live. So we had a open bar yeah. for the white party. We had hors d'oeuvres, yeah. shots everywhere. Mm -hmm. Welcome packages for all of our, uh, everybody that showed up. Yeah. And I think in our welcome bags, um, we put passport covers, we put the itinerary, and then we got these um, shot glasses that had the Mexican colors, Mexican flag colors on there. What else did we get? Oh, we gave them these door hangers. I uploaded a picture of it on Instagram, but um, we gave them these door hangers that said, like, do not disturb. What else did we give them? The, I don't know. We gave them the passport and the shot them a glass. Good time. Because my bros, uh, Ski Diddy, and uh, my cousin Ivan was on the DJ tip. We had the, the music. And I, when I tell you, everybody was out on their balconies. I know. Because the white party was so lit. They was looking. They was partying on the balcony looking at. <laughs> I told them about like, the end, they, external guests. Yeah, people that's not with us. Exactly. I'm talking about guests at, at the hotel. They wanted to come down, turn exactly. out with Exactly. The white party was really lit. That was really like our thanks to them, you know, mm -hmm. welcoming them to Mexico, telling them thank you, getting themselves all the way there from Baltimore, switching everything from Punta Cana. So that was like our thank you to them. And like, like he said, we were able to give them the welcome gifts and everything like that. But that was just the turn up to kick off the entire wedding weekend. We had so much fun. So check it. We're going to take a quick commercial break. 
and when we come back, we're gonna show you some of the turn up from the white party. Everybody being together, they still want to turn up. <laughs> so me and Lon had been to Mexico before. We was like, yeah. oh, let's take them to a spot that we went because they let me hop on the mic and do my thing or whatever. So we wind up going down downtown, what, downtown, mm -hmm. downtown Cancun, mm -hmm. um, past Coca Bongo, and it's this in the cut. It's like yeah. this hookah lounge yeah. where they got DJ music is loud, be banging, and it'd be right. So we all wind up going at mind. It was like. 11 30 12 a.m. I know. I before so we tired. even left i'm gonna show you why everybody couldn't go with us i'm gonna put some pictures right here why everybody couldn't go because it was two turns was but so everybody tired. who made it out we had a good time we was live you can see for yourself <laughs> friends. Lon's crew turns up. <laughs> you see Sean just getting it. Renisha was lit. Brittany, you already know. <laughs> you feel me? Shara and um, Daynesha, a tear. I appreciate all y'all turning up with me because Lon was half asleep. Yes, I was so tired. I should have known when we went out that night that it was a wrap for me. <laughs> like I was so tired. I was like falling asleep at the hookah lounge. I was ready to go, y'all. So to conclude that night, we wind up walking to the bus stop, yeah. and we get back to the hotel. Everybody gets back safely. Um, but Rick and them were still out there. Rick and them were still out there turning up. So I don't know what they did that night, <laughs> but I'm sure they had a good time. So, bam, let's hop into Saturday. Saturday was the best day. I mean, it was the day that I was looking forward to the most because that's when I was going to do my bridesmaid photo shoot with the girls. I just thought about Saturday. What? Saturday was a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saturday was a day. Yeah, so we were... Oh, like, my God. So, for the agenda for Saturday, I was doing the bridesmaid photo shoot. We, were, um, we had a pool party planned for the guests. And then, anything else for Saturday? No, and then Saturday evening was a free-for-all. So, bam, bridesmaid of... Bridesmaid photo shoot. We will we woke up at like 10 o'clock or something like that to get these shots in. We wanted to be on the beach and at the pool when a lot of guests hadn't woken up yet. We didn't want, you know, everybody to be in our photos and everybody be watching us and everything. We got such great shots. And a lot of people don't know, Henry actually took those pictures for us. They were so lit. Like I couldn't believe how good those photos turned out. All like, I'm we saying a is clear cut photography is coming. <laughs> so he made up a photography um, company called Clear Cut. Because so. it's not always about the camera. It's about, yeah. You got to know the angle. You got to know the to, angle. If you don't know what to tell people what to do. Exactly. Your picture would be clear, exactly. but people looking stupid. You got to have the communication. So he did such a wonderful job. Like he was in the pool with us, regular clothes, soaking wet getting all these good shots. It was just so much fun. I need y'all so, to help these pictures go viral. <laughs> so if you haven't seen those photos yet, you can head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Lawn. I just recently changed my Instagram name. So it's the same thing, just with the R between the M and the S. So one of my big things for that day, I wanted to get on the jet skis. I told everybody, I'm like, look, I'm going yeah. on the jet skis yeah. as soon as I finish jet shooting ski. this model. Now, the jet skis was a story in itself. So I'm going to make it real quick. Make it real quick. So we all 
Everybody, I mind you, I, I reserved like 10 jet skis. And there's two people on a jet ski, so it's about 20. But no, we had, we had 10. 10. All, 10 they had, all they had was 10 jet skis. So it's 20 it of us. It wasn't out 20 of us because you had some people riding. Like, I didn't, I rode by myself because oh, I yeah. know I cut up. Yeah. And so I'm out there cutting up. Meep, 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 meep. <laughs> <laughs> so hold off. The guy, the instructor at the beach, um, he told us, because like Henry said, he rented 10 jet skis, so it was a lot of us in the water at one time. He knew we were friends. He was like, look, y'all need to separate because you can really get hurt and really get injured on the jet skis. So, But listen, we do this all the time. Me and bro, we definitely do this all the time. Right, but so a lot that of wasn't people... the reason. that wasn't the reason why things went the way it went. So... It was because when you try to pull somebody up, if they don't get them from the back, it can flip the jet ski. But over. how did he even fall off? Well, the thing is, when you stop, when you stop a jet ski, uh -huh. right, and you're sitting in the middle of the water, mind you, we shouldn't even have been out there because the waves were crazy. Oh, but when you when you stop a jet ski and you start off, you gotta start off going straight. If you turn the wheel, oh, yeah, it will it'll... lose the balance and flip over. That's right. how he originally fell oh, because God. out there taking pictures. Of me cutting up. <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures, right? taking videos for Instagram. Exactly. When wind, up, wind up, wind up flipping over in the bed. So I go try to save him or whatever. And I wind up flipping over too. So shout out. I got to say this person's name. Shout out to my homie Atia. Yes. Because they pulled around and she jumped off the joint like a lifeguard. Because <laughs> it was crazy when the guy came to help us. He helped me flip mine back over, but didn't help bro flip his back over. And instead, he spit the water into bro's face, and he felt like he was going to drown. Oh and that's what made, that's how his leg got messed up, because he snapped, like, trying to, tried to get out of the water face and messed himself up. So now he's struggling. Tia jumped in the water like a lifeguard, grabbed him up. Then straight was taking them to the jet ski. So she even helped me flip mine because mine fell over again. Because I tried to help a tear up to get on the jet ski. Oh fell over God. again. So we were just sitting, mind you, we in the middle of the ocean. And that joint, I don't know if it's an ocean or a river. But we were in the middle a of the river? water. Not a river, but a lake or whatever. Hey. Oh, but we was in the middle a of the lake. water or whatever. We was in the middle of the water. <laughs> and I was so, like, done. Like, I couldn't. I had no energy from pulling myself up three times. Right, because me and my sister, we, me and her, we was. I wasn't messing with Henry and Bro Bro because Bro Bro and Henry, they start acting crazy. I couldn't ride with them, so I rode with my sister. I knew we was gonna keep each other safe. So when me and Cashay, we look over and we see everybody's boats congregated again, which he told us not to do, <laughs> but we could tell that they weren't moving. I'm like, oh heck no. Go over there and see what's going on. Well, I think I was driving. So I went over there and see what's going on. I see Henry in the water just chilling. And I'm like, Henry, so mind he you, wasn't talking. I'm like, Henry, I'm, what's going on? He so, wasn't saying nothing. So mind you, I fully exerted my energy, flipping them joints three times, yeah. helping people get up. Yeah. So I'm sitting on the back, just sitting in the water. When I'm hanging on the Trying back to, of the jet ski. Yeah. I'm just like, look. At this point, if something's going to eat me, it's going to eat me. But I didn't take my time because I'm tired as I don't know what from lifting my, all this weight up. So. And then you got that life, that life I jacket I was ready to take the life jacket off because yeah. I'm like, this is weighing me down. Yeah. So I wound up getting up. I wound up getting up on the um, jet ski eventually. And I ride back. And I see bro on the sand holding his leg. So wait, the man told us all come back. He like, no. Nah, Everybody get back. Y'all didn't follow the rules. Everybody's yes. going to get hurt. Did he say that? Yeah. They he, let me keep riding. No, I just, he, I went back because I wanted to go back. Oh, really? Me and Cashy had to get away from and him. And Ivan was still out there. Mind y'all, we... Didn't know where he was at. I think you be on, you are supposed to be on the jet skis for an hour or 30 Half minutes. Half an hour. Half an hour, They was riding for an hour. We was only out there for like seven or eight minutes before this all happened. No, I wasn't seven eight Henry. minutes. It was like 10, 15 minutes. Henry, it wasn't no 15. It was like Me and Cashay couldn't even get a good Insta snap in because but, but they the did. But they did. We though. did. We did. So I was like, yo, what is going on? So what he rides back. Mind you, your bro passed me the phone while we was out there, and when my jet ski flipped over, his phone went in the water. Yeah, so we, sure. I'm back on shore. I'm back on shore. I see bro leg or whatever, a uh, little tweaked or whatever. And so by this time, everybody's coming back to shore at this point. Everybody can tell that nobody else is in the water. So I'm like, Cashay, 
Get back to land. I don't know what's going <laughs> on, but I can feel something ain't right. I can't even. I couldn't even help, bro, because I was so exhausted. Like I literally, I, I felt like I was about to pass out because it was so hot and I hadn't eaten and it was just I used so much energy. So I make sure, bro, good, we good, and I'm sh everybody blowing up my phone, but my phone is dead. I knew everybody was hitting me up. My phone was dead, and I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't even get to the room to charge it. But anyway, fast forward, right? So um, we say <laughs> we are standing on a beach. Bro, bro, leg is stuck out there. It looked like it's bleeding. It wasn't really bleeding or anything like that, but he was in pain. So the, the guys, the instructors, whatever you want to call them, they call medical assistance. They call medical assistance in the, 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 what do you call them? Paramedics. The paramedics. The paramedics. We was like, no, nah, we ain't trying to pay for that. No, he <laughs> the good. The paramedics came to the beach. Sorry, I'm they lift this man up, put him on a beach chair like it was a stretcher, and they had to carry my man all the way back to, sh I mean, not to shore, back up to the pool area and everything, because he couldn't walk. His leg was like, well, we didn't know at that point if his leg was broke, sprained, what? And so after that, it, we was like, dang, bro, bro, gang. It felt like we lost a family member. We like, dang, this not right. <laughs> Look, I knew my bro was good. I knew my so I went we so we let so we leave the sand. I get I get some water, I get rejuvenated or whatever. Go straight, check on bro, and he was he was good. Like I knew he was straight. So wow. He was rolling around oh, wheelchair. in a wheelchair. He was in a wheelchair for the rest of the wedding weekend, y'all. So then fast forward to the pool party because mind you, oh, this snap. is just <laughs> this is just Saturday morning. This it's yeah. only like one o'clock. The pool party started at, at three. three. We got that at like three thirty. Oh my pool. gosh, y'all! So then the so pool look, this party. This is the pool started. party right here. You gotta you gotta see that. This is the pool party right here. Hey 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 hey. Too lit. If you've ever been somewhere that Too has lit. 
a pool bar, you you have to drink a lot because you can't feel stuff for whatever she reason know when you're in the she water. Got too lit one time yeah, that was in Jamaica. Jamaica. I never do it again. But look, we was ordering up so many shots. shots. We kept ordering up shots. People kept saying, "All right, shots for everybody, shots for oh everybody." So we getting shots. We taking oh shots. And bro, 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 no, bro, 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 bro. That's not supposed to be drinking anymore because bro, bro, bro already had drinks at the restaurant and plays after that. Wait, place we've already that. established bro as bro. We can't keep calling him bro, bro, bro because now when we introduce another All right, this bro the man. Okay, so this is bro the man. This bro the man. And bro the man, you know who it is. <laughs> bro the man bro was the man. so lit. So lit. And I've seen him lit like this in college, but bro the man was lit. So we get in an argument because cuz... Cuz wants to order more shots, but the bartender don't want to give bro the man a shot because bro the man so lit. Exactly. So bro the cousin bartender going at it. He called me like, no, no, no. I'm like, I'll calm, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Causing a scene. I didn't with realize bro the man was that lit. Right. So. But I mean, we all on vacation. So even if bro the man was that lit, the guy should have been still giving him drinks. But I guess it is a safety hazard yeah, because if is. he would have drowned or something like that, it would have fell back so on we the all, So we all get out the pool. Bro, the man sitting on the chair or whatever. I kept saying, I kept telling Jada man that he needs to take Bro, the man. man. I, t I kept telling. I don't know. Whatever, Jada man. Jada man. They need to take Bro, the man to the bathroom. But Jada man was just this turn. So, Broderman... Where was Broderman's girlfriend? Broderman's <laughs> girlfriend was just as turned as Broderman. Oh, so, next thing I know, 10 minutes later, Broderman... Hold on, before that, I knew it was raw. It was it got real for Broderman. Broderman, of course, is a male. It got real when Broderman said, I've been drinking watermelon. <laughs> yeah. That's all I heard. And then when I looked up, what happened, Henry? Check it out, we're at this commercial. Oh wait! <laughs> I was the like, I was like, babysitting. So, paramedics come check out on them. Everybody, I'm like, oh my gosh! They wind up bringing another, another wheelchair. wheelchair. <laughs> this so is now, wheelchair number two in a hunt week. Now we got two wedding guests in a wheelchair in less than what two, three hours? Less than two, three hours. So me and Jada Man and hey, Broda Man. Take bro the man, me, Jada Man, and, 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 and uh, Flo Easy to... Who the heck is Flo Easy? You'll figure it out later. Oh, oh. Jada right. Man, Flo Easy, and me take um, bro the man to the room. He throwing up the whole way there. Oh, my God. So we get, him in the, we get him in the room or whatever. We basically take him through Dr. Hunt's regimen to get him back. Wound up getting him back in 30 minutes. He was back to himself. He was. But he had to go to sleep, so we put him to sleep. Bro the man's... Girlfriend was just as turn. <laughs> and then they winded up throwing up on Flo Easy and Jada Man. <laughs> that was crazy. So that so was it. After that? Nothing really happened for the rest of Saturday. We really um that was everybody else's chance to kind of get every you know, do what they wanted to do because we didn't want to cram up their weekend. Um, but later that night we went out to dinner. I randomly started crying. On Saturday, I just kept thinking about how how much we had been through mm. that last week. And then also, how, I couldn't believe that we had been planning this wedding for a year and four months. And tomorrow was my wedding day. It was making me so emotional. And I was about to cry all night. And then finally, <laughs> shut up. Finally, I couldn't hold it in. And then I just started crying. And then I'm we like, at the dinner cry. table with all my bridesmaids. And they're like, Shalonda, what is wrong with you? How did you just start crying? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just so emotional. And then my other friend, so sis start crying too and want to deck off, reminisce about all of our memories and how she's watched me grow up and all this other stuff. So mm. we just crying at the dinner table and I did not want to do that. Yeah, I'm just like, behave. <laughs> so Henry and, um, and bro. Cause, cause. What are you talking Henry about? Oh, okay. Henry yeah. and bro come up to the table and I'm just like, Henry, I'm crying. He's like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. Tomorrow's our wedding day. Blah, I was like, blah. all right, bye. <laughs> so um, nothing really happened later that day. We definitely didn't go out because Friday night was too lit. We, you know, we had to get up for a wedding. So Henry wound up staying with bro. I stayed in our hotel room by myself and 
we just both got our beauty rest for the next day because the next day was the wedding. She I was out that night. No, you weren't. She did her own thing. She was slang, but I was on the time. So Sunday morning was our wedding day, and it just felt so surreal. Like, how did you feel on Sunday when you woke up? I'm tired. But how did you feel knowing that it was our wedding day? Lost for words. <laughs> I just felt like it was so surreal. It didn't even hit me. I definitely, I wasn't emotional when I woke up. I was just ready for the day to start. Um, I went and got a facial with my soon-to-be sister-in-law and my cousin. And then, that's, I don't think that's it. And then we just started preparing for the wedding. And you guys will get to see the wedding video very, very, very soon. Like, I know you guys, you keep commenting on my Instagram saying you want to see the wedding video. And that'll be we should, out really we soon. We should wait till we get to a certain amount of subscribers to release. To release, we might. I mean, we'll y'all can help right us. Y'all can help us if you just subscribe mm -hmm. right now below yeah. so that you can get all the alerts. But yeah, that'll be coming out very, very soon. What? I want to build the anticipation because that reception. If we could use one word to describe our wedding, it would just have to be lit. The, lit. Ent the, the entire, entire weekend. wedding weekend. If you wasn't lit... You, was out, you felt out of place. I don't know what y'all were doing. If you weren't lit. Y'all know how I'd be when I get on the mic. I don't know what they were doing, babe. Shout out to um, Sis JF for being on the mic as well. Mm -hmm. you gotta wait. I gotta wait. You gotta wait till the video come out so you can see what the turn up really looked like. So I hope that you guys were able to get a glimpse of this wedding weekend. It was so much fun. I would not trade it for the world. I would. I don't wish that a thing was different. I don't wish that we were in Punta Cana. We turned up in Mexico and we just had such a great time, y'all. Like. And I think out of this, a lot of people were saying, "You guys should do." Oh my gosh. A reunion vacation every year. Yeah, so they we, said we should we do like an annual out. trip. We, yeah, this was very stressful. I don't know how we could try to keep up with that every single year. Mm -hmm. I could but be, I could be hound and people. <laughs> but. Guys, we thank you for tuning in, and really, we hope you enjoyed and got was able to get a glimpse of all of the turn up. Yes, we hope that after listening to this and watching the videos and looking at the pictures, that you really felt like that you were at our wedding weekend with us. We wish everybody could have came. We did so much dancing that, I mean, we penned the phrase, I don't dance now, I make money move. Yeah, so it's no longer hunts are on the way, but the hunts have arrived. <laughs>